Hello, everybody! This is Bleakborn, and I'm doing my May Reptile Room, um, what do they call it? Uh, update? It's an update. Um, but let's go around, I'll show you everything. So here we got just the aquatic five gallon tank I have set up for just for plants right now. Um, nothing's in there yet, and we'll see what I decide I want to put in there later. And uh, we'll jump over to my tadpole. You guys have seen it in my other video. Wait, just hanging out. Not doing much. Uh, then we're in the Casey's tank. I need to clean it a little bit. Um, I think he's hiding in his log right now. Somewhere up in there. Better you can kind of see his tail through the top. Maybe not. Yeah, a little bit. Um, my plants, I kind of have a lot less plants this time around. The cactuses ended up dying in that tank, so I'm trying to resurrect them, but I don't think that's going to happen. Mother-in-law's tongue, they're, they've rooted and they're growing, but they're not really sprouting up a second yet. Um, the ivy I took out of the one tank is growing well. This weird plant, I know it's poisonous, so that's about it. That's going to get planted outside, I think, and then my umbrella uh, plant that I'm trying to grow from a clipping. And then we got the lipstick vine. Over on the Ziggy's tank. I'll give you guys a good look at all the plants. I've moved one of the orchids out and made a little more room. I dropped that in there. I'm seeing all that's doing. Looks like it's got some new growth up top though. Um, this guy is just getting massive inside this tank. Look at those leaves. But it creates a nice little shady environment. And I did see a zebra isopod the other day somewhere in there and just kind of disappeared. Um, still kind of moist from this morning. Um, Ziggy's back in that corner. Kind of, kind of see her yellow head sticking out there. But I really can't show you too many more of the plants because of the up this is the light the amazing light and I actually got a fan it's just I ran out of plug in so I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna plug in that thing we'll jump over to my makeshift misting system um, and then you can kind of see in here got one bromeliad there more of those and moss is taking up good and that little fern clipping down in there is starting to get another fern looking pretty good. Um, I think the tadpole will be happy once she or he gets out of the tank and can uh, have a chance to look around. I'll just lift up the light let you guys kind of see into the tank a little better. Yeah, looks pretty cool. It'll be plenty of fun. The water's not too terribly deep so I'm not too worried about the frog sinking. But let's move this light and you guys can See how big that, uh, that orchid's doing. It's growing great. The other one's doing pretty good, too. We'll move our way around. Nothing too major going on here. Obviously, I play D&D, but for those who don't know, I love playing D&D. My Venus flytrap and then my makeshift uh, container for it. Since I didn't have a top for that jar, I used one of those. Cactus skull. And then we have a little Miss Khaleesi. She's just kind of chilling back there. You can kind of see her head. She didn't like the camera too much, but uh, yeah. Miss Khaleesi, I'll leave her alone. You've seen her in the other video. She's about, we've had her for a week, so. Um, I don't know how old she was when we got her, but I think she's gonna pretty grow pretty rapidly. But. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for monthly reptile room updates and uh, you'll watch little 
Gleasy and the Tadpole Grow. Um, this is Bleak Born. This is my reptile room. And thanks for watching.